Well, hello there. New Milan Design here with another video from the series called Before and After, where I'll be showing you render settings for my projects. Today we'll be working with this modern minimalistic house and what we're looking for today is an overcast uh, shot. Something similar that uh, I've done with this house in my previous uh, video and the link to which you can find in the top right corner. So let's quickly create our base render and a copy of that as well and now we can start choosing our effects for uh, today. So we'll need uh, sun and shadow, reflections, skylight, hyperlight, exposure, two-point perspective, depth of field, and chromatic aberrations, important sky and clouds, and fog for uh, today, and color correction, and sharpening. Quickly double check. Looks like we got everything we need for uh, today. So let's bring down the sharpness and fix the chromatic aberrations. You can see it in the corner of the picture. So let's bring it down only a little bit, just barely visible in, uh, in the corners of your, uh, of your picture. Now let's start with, uh, with our sky and clouds today. I'm going to bring down the brightness of the sky for now so we can see the, the clouds that we'll be working with a little better. We'll get a better contrast on them. So like I mentioned, we are looking for cloudy skies, so bring a lot of clouds up. Uh, the cloud softness as well, as you can see, it will populate basically the whole, whole sky. a little less somewhere over there and let's bring the, the brightness up as well as the overall overall brightness of the whole, of the whole picture now moving on to our shadows when you have overcast uh, day or cloudy sky the light is dispersed in all directions you get a very very soft very diffuse light so basically these kind of shadows you will not see so let's get rid of them I'll turn the soft shadows on and the fine details uh, as well as you can see it changed immediately now I'm gonna move to to the Sun now as we have to bring down the brightness almost all the way down as you can see just a little bit of uh, sharp shadows uh, from the trees or from the house barely visible that's what we're looking for today somewhere over there yeah almost invisible so now we can move uh, back to uh, to our shadows uh, we want the coloring to be in the blue spectrum so we move the slider of, uh, of the shadow, the coloring of the shadow to the right, as well as, um, as the exterior shadow. There we go. And now the Omni shadow, as you can see in the corners or in the dark spots of, uh, of the house. You want to bring it up a little bit, but not too much. As I mentioned before, the shadows everywhere need to be very, very soft. So just a little bit in here, no, no sharp shadows anywhere in, uh, in your picture. So I think that looks uh, pretty, pretty okay. Let's just double check the brightness. Just a little bit up. And uh, I think we're done with the, with the shadows. So uh, let's move on. We got the sun shadows. Um, let's work on uh, our reflections. Uh, I have 
have a glass pane right in here. Another one in here. In the front. As well as uh, we want the reflection from the road as well because it is, as you can see, it is moist or or damp in the, in the, in the spots. So we want the nice uh, reflections uh, from uh, that one as well. You can see it right in here. Next stop, uh, skylight. We're gonna turn on both uh, projected and planar reflections and the high quality of, uh, of the render. The brightness, we wanna bring it up and the saturation a little down. On the overcast day, the colors kind of seem to blend uh, together. It appears like you lose a little bit of uh, saturation in, uh, in your picture. Um, Hyperlight, you want to move slightly on. As I mentioned previously, a skylight, hyperlight, you cannot see the effects in your viewer, only in the final render. We'll come back to uh, our exposure later on. Switch on our two-point perspective. You can see the slight change in the picture. Depth of field. As usual, we want our main object to be um, to be nice and sharp. So let's uh, let's just put it somewhere. So we're in the middle of uh, of our house and switch on. We can use the autofocus since we are creating a picture today. No video, so you can use the feature in Lumion. Now the focusing distance 23 meters, nice. And we want the foreground to be slightly more blurred than the background. Now let's bring out the blur. As you can see, you're losing detail in the trees and in here in the front. That's a little too much. So we'll just bring that down all somewhere over there. Looks fine to me. Moving on, chromatic aberration of the work, sky and clouds done. Now let's bring the, the fog in. A little bit of the density, brightness of the fog. And we want it a little, little down and the fall off. A little up. If you leave it all the way down, it will basically, the fog will block your, uh, your sky as well. Somewhere over there and the fall of somewhere over there. And the brightness, just to make it a little thicker, somewhere right there. Okay, looks good to me. And moving on to uh, color correction. Now we want to bring the temperature a little up. As you can see, we have nice warm colors in the surrounding. So the tint as well as the, uh, the temperature we want to bring a little up. The overall brightness as well. And the contrast a little down. Like I mentioned before, the light is very diffuse which means no, no sharp shadows and uh, not very strong contrast. Uh, saturation just a little bit down. And I think that looks pretty good to me. Sharpening will work on that. Let's just double check. Let's see uh, if we can improve on the exposure, if we need to adjust a little bit. slightly adjust the, the shadows maybe the brightness a little down there we go and let's check the other shadow somewhere over there okay well I think we're pretty much done with the with the settings so um, Let's put it to render and uh, let's see what we're going to get today. So thanks for watching, 
Stay well and stay creative.